evening guys this is sumaya welcome back to my youtube channel so dialux evo 11 is available now to download i hope you guys have downloaded and installed it uh, it only requires you to register your email id with the dialux to access this uh, software it's free let's get started so dialux evo 11 has so many nice features we are going to explore each one of them in detail the very first feature today which we'll be looking is is the new function of saving the objects now you can save your own objects in dialux evo let's see how it is so i have considered a sample uh, project here i have constructed this whole 3d model in dialux evo 11 itself and uh, if you see uh, the whole construction is by using the objects or the elements from the dialux evo itself i have imported only the bed and uh, the plant 3d model from the sketchup you can easily find this 3d models from 3d warehouse okay now let's go to the objects click here select and uh, this layout is changed here at the top two rows you can find the basic objects we use these are they look little highlighted because of the background gray color then whatever the 3d models or the objects you're using in your project those will be displayed here okay and this one you can sort it like here if you want to sort this according to the name you can go to this drop down menu and select name okay so this will be arranged in name if you scroll up you can see it will be arranged in order from a to z the objects with numberings like from 0 to 9 okay if you want to sort this based on how you have used you can do that too let's keep it as by name now this is about the display and uh, if you see the top part of this objects you can find here you can find the star symbol which is basically if you click here whatever the objects you have marked as favorite that will be shown here for now i haven't marked any objects favorite then if you want to go back to your previous view click again then beside that you can see one more icon which is which is basically if you click on that it will show you only the objects you are using in your project which is really nice feature then if you want to reset the filters all you have to do is just click on this okay you will be back to this form then uh, we used to have object library or object catalog of pre-built dialux model available that you can find it in more objects click here and you can find this you can find this catalog of objects then if you see the bottom part here we have arrangement wherein you can arrange your icons in form of simple view or you, you can view it as large icons if you want to increase the size of preview you can use this scale this is basically the adjustment of this icons here comes the most important part these three symbols are like boon to us from the development of dialux evo 11 this symbol is much better now because uh, we can easily import the objects all you have to do is click here and uh, from your destination folder or location i don't have any objects to import now but if you have any objects you can select that open and your 3d model will be imported it's easy to just click here and import it now here are next two options which is of save object and folder let's see this both functions one by one to understand these functions let's make a simple 3d model okay the function says we can save our own objects right so let's make one what shall we make let's make a simple 
painting wall painting wall art i think that is very simple so let's just make a quick 3d model I'll make the painting with the frame. To do that, I will just select this cube and decrease little dimensions. And we need to subtract this, but before subtracting, let me give this some texture. I'll give a wooden frame texture, so I'll go to indoor furniture wood and let me select this texture replace material and now i'm going to subtract this from this go to the below in objects subtract done you have this frame kind now then create texture material and apply some painting you need okay perfect nice okay now this is our painting our 3d model now we need to save this painting we need to save this 3d model so what we are going to do is go to the objects your objects is already selected then make sure whichever 3d model you want to save make sure you click on that and it is highlighted by this orange color and then you can see this download tool here click on that and select your destination folder and save the file say i'm going to save it as painting 01 save it and it is saved let's go and check so this is that file it's painting 01.dxobj so you can access this file only with dialogs you can't directly open it you can't directly open it so you have to import in dialogs and then only you can use it now i have exported the furniture model i created in dialogs okay now let's see if i can successfully import it i will delete this okay and i'm going to delete even from here clear history done so now in my present 3d models i don't have that painting which i saved okay let's import the one which we have saved on my desktop let's import it go here import objects you can see this file here open and it is imported you can see this painting texture is not missing yeah the one which i applied externally before performing the boolean operation that texture is missing that leaf one painting but the texture wood texture i applied before doing the subtraction operation so wooden texture is not missing but that leaf texture is missing okay so let's go and import some texture for this painting let me import this one apply and this is your painting i think it's really a nice feature very nice feature now as you know for the 3d models which we make in the dialogues evo we can perform boolean operations on it like we can add subtract right so let us check if we can perform the boolean operations for the objects which are already saved like this one this i already made and i have saved it now i am going to try if i can perform boolean operation on this file okay let's go say i'm going to randomly cut this painting just to check okay just to check i have made one cube cube just to check if i can perform boolean operations on this i will select both the objects 
though selection is possible we can select both the objects let's go to copy and arrange but i don't have op i don't have here i don't have option here to perform any boolean operation right i can only group it if you if i want group and ungroup two objects but i can't perform any boolean operations so this is a thing once saved it is saved you can't make any changes to the saved 3d model okay let's try one more time with this bed bag okay this too i have made with uh, extrusion volumes okay and then i combined it all let me just save this save object i will keep it on desktop and i will name it as bed back save it now say i want to import and place it here though i already have it here i can simply copy paste it but i want to check if the textures are correct orientation is correct so what i'm going to do is select import object here is my object and i'm going to place it here orientation is correct but the color is different color is different because it is taking the color which i am applying to it before performing any boolean operation so keep this in your consideration remember this that whatever texture you are going to apply for the objects before performing any boolean operations that texture will only get saved so if you are applying any texture after performing boolean operation to make some 3d model of your own then the texture will be lost okay so i think even if the texture is lost the 3d model is not having any missing parts it is the same we exported it so i think it is a good feature a good addition okay i just i don't need this so i will delete it for now done so we have seen that we can easily save the objects which we made in the dialogs evo now let's check if we can save the objects which we have not created but we have imported it from sketchup that is the .3ds file okay let's just try first for this plant okay i'm going to select plant is selected and i'm going to save the object save it at the destination folder save okay let's go and check yes plant is save it means i can even save the objects which i have not created in dialogs evo which is which is really very very helpful while working in dialogs because you know we are exporting the 3d models from sketchup or from any other software to dot 3ds file importing in dialogs evo and then again when we have to use it in some other projects again we have to import in the dialogs evo it was a huge process now it's simple let's see if i can successfully import it in dialogs evo for that i will just clear the history so that i don't have that plant model available now in my project list i'll go to the top and then import objects here i have my plant open and seems like i have perfectly imported it let's let's check moment of truth and wow this is amazing there are no missing textures and the object is properly imported the 3ds objects too are working fine so it means you can save your bed too let's just check this
I have placed I have imported that 3d model and I have no missing textures the textures which were there after exporting from the sketchup the same is there here so this is really amazing I really like this new feature of dialogues evo 11 it's going to save a lot of our time a lot let's just check what are the file sizes for the objects which we made in dialogues and for the imported one this one is the bed bag it is 27 kb oh my god this is so less and for the painting it is 45 kb I think uh, this is because uh, I have that wooden texture to added that's the re reason it is 45 KB and here I have only a solid texture okay let's check what size is this plant it is 1.39 MB which is good and this bed is of 10 MB which is little heavy but since I have only two objects imported in this whole file I think that is okay now we have seen about how to save the objects we can save both the objects the one which we make and the one which we import in the dialogues and we know that we can't perform any boolean operations on the objects which are already saved okay then let's see what is this folder option it's actually a location wherein you can save your which you have saved for future use let's do one thing let's save all these four models in one particular location i will name it as dialogues models dialogues models and i'll move all these four here let's go to dialogues go to the objects folder and let's add the folder it is on desktop and dialogues model open yes once you add the folder wherein you have saved all your models it is going to display here it's nice actually it's like a library you can directly go to the folder select the object you need like select here apply close and place it's really simple very well planned i think this is going to save a lot of time and uh, since we are going to make more of 3d models on our own i think file size is also going to drastically reduce Try this new feature and let me know in the comments if you come across any error or any bug so that we can look forward to resolve it and stay connected so that we can explore Dialogues Evo 11 together. So this is it guys in this if you like the video hit a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to explore more in Dialogues with me. Thank you.